Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to briefly introduce how to identify the different notes on the guitar. It turns out that the foundation of that is knowing the string names, and if you don't know the names of the strings of the guitar, then go into the description uh, and click on the link to my previous video about the names of the strings on your guitar. So, quick recap, we have E, A, D, G, B, high E. So low E, high E. And so if I'm going to try to find a note on this guitar, then what I do is I do a simple math calculation, which is um, going to be based on knowing the 12 notes um, that are in Western music. So first of all, we need to know the 12 notes. They are, alphabetically, we have seven natural notes, and they go from A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. All right? We call them natural because they're just named after notes of the alphabet. But in between them, we also have some sharp or flat notes. So we have A followed by A sharp. Then we have B followed by C. That one doesn't have a sharp. Then we have C followed by C sharp. And then we have D followed by D sharp. We have E, and that's not followed by a sharp. That's followed by F. Then we have G followed by G sharp. So I'm sure you didn't remember all of that immediately, but I'm going to give you a trick that will allow you to memorize it in a matter of seconds. So here we go. We have... A through G, that's seven notes, right? We have a total of 12, so that means that out of those seven, five of them have sharps. So which five have sharps? All the ones except for B and E, which spell the word B. So think of it this way. We have, after every single note, which is just a letter of the alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, we're going to follow it with another note that is sharp, except for B and E, which spell the word B. And so... With that, we're just gonna, we, I'm just going to go through and name all the notes and see if you can use that trick to name them all with me. A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, G, G sharp. Might be wondering why I'm doing this thing. It's because I'm thinking of it in terms of on a piano because the natural notes, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, are the white notes, and then the higher ones, the ones that are just like raised up a little bit um, in black, those are going to be your sharp notes. Now, every sharp note also has a flat name, and you can use those. Um, I am going to, for the sake of simplicity, use just their sharp names, but just so you know what they are, um, the note that is between A and B can be called A sharp because it's one higher or sharper than A, and it can be called B flat because it's one lower or flatter than B. And... Same thing with all the other ones. Like, just to do one more example, um, the note in between uh, G and A is going to be G sharp because it's higher than G, and it's going to be A flat because it's, it's flatter, um, lower than uh, A. So anyway, those are the 12 notes, and you have to know them in your head so that as you're counting up on your guitar, you can actually figure out what note you're playing. So... Step one to identifying a note on the guitar is know what string you're starting on. So like if I'm starting on this low E string right here, that's the note E. So every single time I put my finger on a fret, like every time I go one fret higher, it's going to increase the note by one out of those 12. So here's E, and then alphabetically, <laughs> E doesn't have a sharp, so the next one is F, and that's going to be fret one. Add one more fret, we are at F sharp. One more fret is going to be G. One more fret's going to be G sharp. One more fret's going to be A. One more to A sharp. One more to B. Remember, B and E are the two that don't have sharps, so from B, you just go straight to C. C sharp. D. D sharp. E. Now, right here, I have a double dot. In a lot of guitars, is it's going to have two dots on fret 12. And fret 12 is interesting because it marks an octave, which makes sense, right? Because there's 12 notes. You start open on... E, A, D, G, B, E, whatever your string is. So in this case, we're doing the low E string, so we're starting open on E, and then if we counted up 12, wouldn't we be going through all 12 of the notes and starting back at E again? Yes, we would. So E, E, or if I did the A string, A, and then fret 12, where the double dots are, A, and so on and so forth. So if I said, for example, find me a C using the A string, what would you do? Well, you would think to yourself, you're using the A string, so fret 0 is A, and then fret 2, or sorry, fret 1 would be A sharp, fret 2 would be B, and you just count up until you find C. In this case, you only have to count up to fret 3, because B is no sharp, so A string fret 3 is C. 
what if I say um, try to find the note um, C on the G string? Well, find your G string, E, A, B, G. So we're going to have to count a little higher. So here's G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B. B has no sharp, so C. There we go. So we found it there. C on the G string is going to be fret 5. All right, so that's basically how you find the notes. It's just counting, and you need to know two things. You need to know, number one, what are the names of each of these strings, E, A, D, G, B, E. Remember, Eddie ate dynamite, goodbye, Eddie. Um, and the second thing you need to know is all 12 notes, which are just letters A through G, and all of them have a sharp except for B and E. Hope you enjoyed this and found it helpful. Feel free to like, comment, and or subscribe, and I'll see you next time. God bless.